example, I'm sure you can already tell a bunch of use cases for these, but my favorite part hasn't even come up yet, and we're going to check on that in just a second. But before we do that, if you haven't already, don't forget to check out my AutoCAD Fundamentals and Workflows course. I've just released the complete CAD Toolbox version of the course, and this includes not only my AutoCAD Fundamentals course, which is going to teach you everything from AutoCAD template setup, layers, XREFs, drawing, annotation, sheet setup, plotting, and more. I've also included my AutoCAD Kickstart course, which is perfect for complete beginners. It's going to show you how to create new drawings, line work from scratch, and it also includes a ton of templates, including my gold title block package, which includes a handful of different title blocks and layouts and templates pre-set up for you, like the one we're going to look at today in the next part of the video. All of this is included as well as a productivity webinar, cheat sheets, and workflows and more and you can get that at the link down below and up above now moving on to the next part of this tip and that is going into your layout so you can see we've got a title block and viewport already set up and let's say this viewport over here let's set it to a scale let's try 132nd so yeah that fits nicely so this is going to show our entire office plan but what if we'd like to show an additional viewport say a blow up on the right here that we would like to have maybe that conference room or that office is shown in a detail now this is a great way where named views come in handy if you're doing large civil drawings say and you've got a handful of sections or profiles or even small details of say footings or retaining walls and you'd like to make a named view for each one of those so that you can quickly and easily place each one in your layout as a detail this is going to create the viewport as well as set it up to that specific view for you. So 